Global Banking and Finance Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we're pleased to offer no less than three awards to BPC Banking Payments Contexts. BPC can offer the latest banking technologies with a fast time to market and a limited cost for new features added, plus deep customization for your market. BPC has over 280 customers worldwide and has a presence in 90 countries over five continents and 390 million transactions are processed daily. Global Banking and Finance is pleased to offer awards for Best Banking Technology Overhaul Africa 2020, Best Banking Technology Overhaul LATAM 2020, and Fastest Growing Payment Solution Provider Europe 2020. Jane Loginova is Chief Commercial Officer for BPC and joins us on a computer link from Central London. Well, first of all, congratulations on your award-winning success and thank you so much for joining us for this discussion today. Well, of course, it's very uh, honoured and pleased to receive them. We as a company have been working very hard over the years and it's always good to have uh, the um, success recognised. We are the specialist in our field and um, um, that's, uh, we have always been focused solely on payments and that's uh, something that has been recognised by uh, our clients. Uh, we have uh, been growing um, at a steady uh, at a steady rate um, in volume and in number of clients. Uh, but from our clients' perspective, uh, we have been um, uh, quick to market and we anticipate the change and um, the nature of organization as a private firm is we quick to take strategic decisions and we have the agility to adapt to market changes. Uh, I mean, how do you think your banking solutions actually help financial institutions uh, create relevant digital experiences for all your customers? We have, uh, as I said, the um, platform um, that covers all the functionality in retail payments that can be deployed uh, in its entirety uh, or in just as standalone solutions to cover particular uh, need of that uh, customer. So, um, you know, the direct answer would be that we cover the necessary functionality for that particular bank or a processor, be it a mobile banking, be it a uh, switch um, or a card management system. But um, I think that recently what has been particularly uh, important from, um, from our corporate angle is to really focus on the ecosystemic approach, to really work with our customers vision and strategies so that we're not only a technological provider of standalone solutions, uh, but really work with the, um, really work alongside them to become the technological rails to realize their ambition. Well, I know that uh, most of your operations are controlled by what is known as the Smart Vista Suite. Tell us a little bit about how that works and what the advantages are of it. So, uh, Smart Vista is an end-to-end -end, uh, retail payments platform uh, covering all the functionality uh, in a retail payment space. Um, that goes from transaction routing, authorization, fraud prevention system, um, card management system, uh, loyalty, uh, acceptance of payments from all devices, um, and much more. In fact, I would say in terms of the breadth of the solutions, uh, we are um, some of the along there with the leaders um, of uh, the market. The um, again, as I've uh, mentioned, the the distinctive feature about Smart Vista is that it's all homegrown. Um, there are um, other companies uh, operating in our market, uh, competitors, um, who may also have a very wide and broad set of uh, solutions, but they don't necessarily um, work well with each other because those solutions have been acquired through M&A, whereas ours are all um, homegrown and that's why they're very compatible um, with each other so you can really use it as a um, 
a kind of a Lego concept to uh, really build uh, the solution that is tailor-made for you. Well, I know that you are established on all five continents and therefore have a very big global presence. What would you say the advantages of that were? So we currently uh, number uh, 280 clients in 90 uh, countries. Um, predominantly, uh, they are in the financial services space, so um, banks, processes, uh, microfinance organizations, um, investment-led projects on the P2P uh, payments, but also they are the transportation companies, uh, telcos, uh, post offices, central banks, and government agencies. And the breadth of this client base um, gave us, I would say, probably our um, biggest asset alongside the technologies, the experience, because um, operating as one organization, uh, the experience that we have gained working on some of the innovative projects, for instance, in Southeast Asia, we can deploy um, or educate our clients on uh, in Europe. And um, that um, experience uh, is something that um, helps us and uh, definitely um, something that our customers across the globe uh, appreciate because everybody always wants to know what do the other, what do my peers in other parts of the world do uh, with the parties uh, across the world. Well, of course, having a, a presence in every major nation around the world leads to all kinds of different rules and regulations. How do you adapt to the compliances that are required by individual nations? Indeed, clients do rely on us on anticipating those um, uh, compliance changes and uh, definitely complying with them. Um, I would say that our nature um, to uh, be, well, firstly, provide a secure service and secondly, is uh, be compliant with the regulatory, with the regulators um, globally. Um, we have um, uh, local teams, we have global teams uh, whose job it is to uh, work with the regulators to follow um, the new, uh, you know, the new regulations from be it um, uh, local governments, be it schemes, be it, um, uh, you know, be it pan um, national uh, regulators. Of course, like in Europe, PSD2 um, is uh, something that everybody's focused on. It's uh, 3DS2. Um, that's, um, again, something that uh, we are compliant with. Uh, but, you know, as you rightly said, sort of we operate from uh, Indonesia to Panama, and then there are certain local, um, uh, within those jurisdictions, there is local regulation that our team is uh, very vigilant about. Well, of course, you are well known for your commitment to clients and also contributing to their success. Why has customer service, do you think, always been so important for BPC? Our success does come from our customer success. Uh, it sounds very logical, but it's you know, this has been our motto um, for as long as we have been um, in business. We um, the, the service that we provide to customers directly affects the service they provide to their end consumers uh, in, or in very bold terms. It affects yours and my ability to pay. So um, the reputational, the um, financial risk of uh, that our customers face if we for a minute take our focus off them um, is quite vast. So in one way we cannot afford uh, not to do that but uh, on the other hand we have always prided ourselves on building long um, you know, long-standing relationship with the client again, uh, trying to move away of just becoming a single solution um, provider for that particular you know, problem, uh, but ultimately working with them, helping them to uh, realize their vision, whereby they can only they should you know only be focusing on their customers and their go-to-market strategy, whereas we support all of that with the technology. Um, but yes, I think we are the 
we are in a B2B industry um, where it's uh, very important to make sure that your customers are happy and uh, everything you know, works for them. Well, a final question for you. Uh, will you be actually launching any new products or services in the year and can you tell us about them? Uh, we are constantly innovating, so um, in line with the market, uh, the uh, quest for f- seamless and frictionless payment experience uh, is ongoing and I would say all participants are working towards that. Um, so we are uh, constantly innovating uh, and coming up with the new solutions to aid that. But I would say what we're really focusing on is tying up the solutions that we already have along with the uh, new solutions to um, create a more ecosystemic approach that would again um, allow the customers um, address uh, address the needs of today and uh, for the future. So we're that way we're we're working with the ecosystemic approach uh, in banking, where we are focused on delivering the digital banking uh, solutions. Uh, and uh, McKinsey validated us as. Uh, uh, as some of the um, basically your experience as a person living in the living in a city and making that um, frictionless by uh, operating you know, digital like uh, digital methods, uh, especially now in the. Uh, COVID uh, reality. Uh, we are working on um, a few projects of how to deliver um, the government aid to the um, population directly by digital channels. And I believe it's uh, one of the future strong growth areas. Um, ultimately, it's a technological platform that connects all players in a ecosystem. It can be any industry, really, any vertically integrated industry. Uh, one of the projects that's been particularly successful at this stage is the marketplace, um, agritech uh, marketplace in India, um, where by you know one we integrate all the players in the ecosystem and also provide accessibility to funding. And uh, ultimately, it's the actual payments. And uh, with that, our uh, biggest growth area right now is uh, our SaaS proposition, uh, which we call the Raider Payments, um, is a um, white label um, payments provider uh, on a SaaS basis. Um, in Europe. Well, obviously, you have many exciting challenges ahead. Congratulations once again on winning the awards from Global Banking and Finance and wishing you every success. Thank you very much.